Right, hello guys, um, Jack from Visual Effects Hut again, and today I'm going to teach you how to use the new Dirt node in Octane 2020. So, I'm going to create a metallic material as a base. Let's just chuck that on a few things on this car. So this is the underlayer paint, and we're just going to add a slight roughness to it. nothing major just to show that we're getting through um, and then we want to create the paint layer yeah, so if we throw that on the car as well just to see what we're doing This is by no means a car shader, but um, just how to use dirt maps. So we've got that as the paint layer and we want to get chips and scratches into the edges of this model. So we want to create a mix material and then put the paint and the scratches in. And we need to get rid of this float texture because we want to cut between the two using a dirt node. So we click the dirt node, drop it on the amount, and then let's just double check it's doing the right stuff. Right, so we just want to make that really dramatic just to make sure it's actually working so really strong really detailed and tolerant so you can see here the edges are all coming through obviously that's just like it's almost sunburned so we want to make that look like scratches and make it old so luckily in Octane 2020, we have a new option of importing a dirt map rather than going through a series of nodes, which is great. So if we drop an image text from, and I will use a Quixel one. So we'll be using this texture from Quixel. And we just drop it on dirt map. And also we can add a color correction to be able to get the more details that we'll need. Right. <clears throat> so if we have a look now, we can see that it's breaking up a little bit more, which is brilliant. But we want it to be a lot harsher and less even all the way along. So we can do that by ramping the radius up a little, knocking the tolerance down, but also adding more contrast. So it's still on the edges. And that's how you do it. You can also um, use the transform to change the scale of these scratches because depends on what's caused these scratches but kind of like something like that and vary it a little and obviously because it's two separate materials you'll get that lovely shine property from the metallic material which you wouldn't if it was just a flat texture so that's just how to use the dirt node and create more realistic looking edges. Hopefully you found it useful and I will catch you on the next one.